I'm not sure I fully follow this whole Taylor Swift thing. Wait, wait. Republicans. They're mad at her for for her politics? For saying vote, maybe. Okay. She's the least political pop star I maybe have well, ever why seen in my voting, life. Emma. So she said vote like tw- she said vote against Marsha Blackburn. That was her first is... foray into politics. When I just I'm not trying to be a jerk, but like you know, there have been there are a lot of female pop stars that like stake their careers on gay, things like gay rights, for example, Lady Gaga, or like tried to use their platform for something like Beyonce for something a little bit more meaningful. Taylor Swift was used to be known to be revered by certain white supremacist cultures because she didn't say anything about politics, and they loved her as a perfect perfect perfection in the public yeah. of kind of. What, a white ideal now not that's that doesn't necessarily fall on her but she has been she's like capitalism in a pop star and never said anything to upset the apple cart so now they're turning on her which I is mean, interesting uh, i will say this that based upon my experience with um why they would bring janine on back in the day their sweet spot for um for getting ratings is attacking attractive young women and um, they like to attract young women of color but i think that they get their best ratings when they attract young women like young white women uh because god knows i don't even want to get into like what the 65 and over crowd watching uh you know mostly male uh, or crowd watching fox women. news well, i mean this is discipline my daughter there's a little bit of discipline <laughs> in my daughter but i also think there's a little bit something else going on it's but the aoc is, stuff too that's yep, why they were obsessed with yep, her yeah totally i mean reminder republican voters had a higher name recognition of aoc than democratic voters did maybe to this day yeah. Go ahead. And such, you know, immeasurable amount of followers, she can potentially single handedly swing voters because of just the amount of fo- followers that she potentially can influence. So the answer is yes, Jesse. Yeah, because when she. Oh, pause it. Just to be clear, to this the- is a former FBI agent on. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. sorry yeah, I, I wanted to note that that on Fox News, Rupert Murdoch's Fox News, they have a former FBI agent and they're coming to warn people about psychological operations the government might be running. Uh, if I if this was 2005, I have I and saw this, I'd be losing my mind um, because this is <laughs> maybe don't trust the FBI agents. Like, yeah, maybe it's kind of like, well, but I just love the idea that, like, that, that um, the FBI agent is coming. It's like almost like a whistleblower case. Yeah. This musician, she She's built up her career. How long has she been doing music for like 20 years, right? Or something. A long I don't time, know. yeah. And she was not influential it enough. It was again all to wait to, sw- for to swing the black sleeper race. cell. Sleeper she cell. Sw- she did not swing the Blackburn race. That's- sleeper cell. Yes. She, yeah, they didn't fully awaken the sleeper cell. At that it's point. amazing because also I have to say that if, if uh, she was sitting right here next, I would have no idea. She they're, they're, I mean, I've heard the name Taylor Swift a lot, but I've never ever seen her. They're responding to the economic numbers, the fact that like now Chiefs game because she's dating one of their players get a bunch more ratings because of oh, her fans okay all right keep going i heard about that the kicker right or something no, no. T- one of the greatest tight ends of all time but i mean that's what i meant yeah vote.org it's like hundreds of thousands of young taylor swift fans all of a sudden registered to vote i wonder who got to her from the white house or from wherever who makes that <laughs> initial <laughs> handshake is it the binder well The administration has what they consider a perception optics management team. And those are professionals that go out and identify (laughs) those people who may be unsuspecting, whether with knowledge or without knowledge, to do these type of campaigns. Now, it is possible that Taylor Swift, quite frankly, does not know that she is being utilized in a covert manner to swing voters. But the bottom line is that the Biden administration is savvy identifying how many followers and how many voters potentially she can influence with either right information or misinformation she certainly can swing the voters but okay. didn't uh, don't, so didn't, didn't the, the republicans have clint eastwood open up their uh, their 
There, uh, the uh, RNC in talking 2016, to a chair, talking yeah. to a chair. He was debating uh, Obama or something. He was being utilized. He was being utilized. <laughs> they they gra- We approached. We approached <laughs> Taylor Swift and cleverly said, "What if you promoted kids voting?" and what if you actually said which one of the candidates <laughs> you preferred? <laughs> or even just said, and go then vote. We disappeared. <laughs> if you posted a register to vote thing, and listen, Taylor, it's, we don't have any ulterior motive, it's just the same. Oh, wait, uh, before you decide, before you decide uh, whether you want to uh, post something on your Instagram, why don't you have a sip of this uh, tea I made you? It is in no way uh, with any type of like mind control substance <laughs> that will force you to post vote.org on your Instagram. Okay, give her another dose of uh, a microdose of LSD before exactly. we tell her to uh, w- uh, to publicize how people can find their polling place. <laughs> Say Uncle Joe over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> like these people are insane. Yeah, this- but the amazing thing is, is like you know, there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions, of guys my age and older. Mm-hmm. Sitting there going like, 100%. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She's been like mind controlled to uh, put out democratic propaganda because that's the way girls are. It's also the They're same so way. so impressionable. They don't even know who they want to vote for. Oh, that's yeah. That's why they shouldn't even have the vote. It's also Never the mind the big Instagram accounts. It's also the same exact way that like Tom Hanks is somehow also drinking the blood of kids <laughs> with Hillary Clinton. Like there's, they right. just really, these, you know, 85 year olds eating pudding, watching Fox News, just like, are like, well, it's all connected, all of them You know together. why they do this? I just realized it. The same reason TMZ talks about these no, people? No, this is, no. Well, that's what, that's, the, the, it's like, there's multiple benefits to this. But the, the political narrative is, this is vote interference. This because oh, this is same thing. this is like people complain that Russia put on fake accounts. Well, this is voting interference. The Biden administration reached out to Taylor Swift and said, will you promote vote dot org? That is voting interference. They do perception she has, management. She has a she caused hundreds of thousands of young people to go register to vote. But. They're all on the bandwagon. When does Tim Pool do his bit? But let's go to uh, Charlie Kirk. Fresh off of his bl- blockbuster report on Martin Luther King uh, Jr., where he, where all of a sudden, you know, with Charlie Kirk years ago when he was fighting off the Groypers, I was like, Martin Luther King is not horrible, and now he, now he is. But uh, oh, it's he just discovered a business. that yeah. he was kind of like anti-capitalist and anti-war and pro-worker. Sure, yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. Cool. Um, just a warning. This is some rancid crap. Uh, this is uh, this is Charlie Kirk show, but this is their thought crime show, which he does with Jack Posobiec and two other. Uh, oh yeah, things. now Posobiec's the guy who got caught on Bumble cheating on his uh, pregnant wife, right? Or he got he caught somebody impersonating him on his account on Bumble, making it look like he was trying to have affairs. And he talked to the FBI anyway. about it, and they said they were going to investigate it. And assume yeah. that investigation is going to conclude. Oh, any, I any wish day. I I found out the results of that before I went on Bumble back in the day, because a lot of people did that to me too. Yeah, hey, he's just scrolling. You, I mean, prosecuting that is like prosecuting a thought crime. Yeah, a lot of that happened to me many, many times. Actually, yeah, no, that is very common where people hack into your Bumble account because they know who you are and they. Want want to embarrass you in front of your pregnant wife. He's just scrolling. What is this, 1984? Policing my thoughts? This is a compilation made by the Tennessee Holler. Ah. She's a narcissist. I don't think that she's very talented. She's nasty. She's ugly. Nobody likes her. Nobody likes her. She's like a teenage boy. Like, dudes don't like her. Like, if you put her in front of, like, she's ugly. That's true. Yeah, Does Taylor Swift have any eggs left? 
Well, I don't think she probably. I don't know I mean, if she had it to start with. Like, no, you the, mean like bitter, bitter, angry women, and that that's like, Taylor Swift, like librarian, oh, like your worst teacher you had, feminism. That's like that's Taylor Swift feminism. What is virtuous about her for young women to glean? Like date as many men as possible, complain all the time, ruin men's lives. She's not, she hasn't started a family. She's yeah, in I mean, her mid thirties. No kids. Like it's a she terrible role model. Three up. If you, young women start dressing sluttier because of Taylor Swift, which oh makes my them God. Like, miserable. Like when women dress like this, I don't, I don't know if a hundred percent dress I'm like you, what? Yeah, it's a cult. That's what it is. There's it's no men that really enjoy Taylor Swift. They just don't. There's right, no Taylor redemption. Swift. She's a bad role model. She's not a good There's person. She's a bad icon. Games. Let's also remind you: her politics exactly. are cancerous. Her politics are poison. She doesn't do the stuff that a political true believer yeah, would really do. Something. She got she is... 4 million girls registered in like 24 hours. Yeah, do you see that? She but broke it's... the website. I want to make it That's clear, pause it so one second. She's both uh, got cancerous politics and doesn't really believe any of it. <laughs> I that's, mean, a, that's when you're giving out cancer, but it's not like genuine cancer. They, these misogynists are ruining the leftist cr critique of Taylor Swift. I mean, the important <laughs> stuff here that I like to engage in about how she personifies white feminism and capitalism yeah, Emma's annoyed and we have commodification to to of like... her image for a completely toothless faux feminist ideology that's really just about marketing herself. And these idiots have to ruin it. <laughs> these guys, honestly, it's like this is just uh, this is almost like a like 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 could be registered as a fetish also what they're doing here yeah. this is like because even from a political perspective uh, maybe they're afraid that there are some like uh women uh, you know conservative women who will listen to uh taylor swift but no they all no, do no, all yeah, the but, white women they want to date but, but freaking love taylor yeah. swift that's the problem but but they're not their audience is there's no women watching this yeah this is true. all just like guys this is all basically but that's the problem is just this is them telling their their younger listeners like hey guys when you run into this which you will just understand she's a bitch and you're okay. yeah right yeah right. That's no basically what this is on. this is content for um older men whose daughters like they want to vote republican but they're taylor swift fans and they're worried they're going to vote um uh democrat or guys who want to date those women who are conservative exactly. themselves. Well, What's so her, funny is like, can you imagine? Her fan base was more conservative. That's what I think is threatening that's about the, it. That's why she's different. Yes. And, but dad, you know, like, uh, you know, t saying to his daughter, like, just want you to know that Taylor Swift, she's bitch. Yeah, she's, right. She doesn't right. know all the things she she's doesn't know what she's in. talking about. She's all she does is complain. Does she's barren. She doesn't have any kids. Her eggs yet. aren't good. Are you aware of that? Do you <laughs> she doesn't know she's being <laughs> utilized by the deep state <laughs> daughter but also her politics <laughs> like, are actively bad yeah and that's and then like daughter sitting there going like i hope this is the last time i ever have to sit with look this at man. these alpha males yeah, she just there you have the biggest hey i would respect her but she so she's not leading people to god she's leading them to wokeism complaining on boyfriends man hating and she used to be a christian az says i don't think oh, taylor is a christian anymore she grew up on a Christmas tea farm, tree farm. Yeah, I rest my case. Someone who like turns away from the faith and like <laughs> pursues money, fame, <laughs> and approval of the world. Pause it for one second. <laughs> Christmas tree farms where you get wait, closer wait. to God. No, 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 no. Keep the his image up there because I just I can't believe I, what I just heard. <laughs> First off, she turned away the from the Christmas tree faith. <laughs> Jesus was born on a Christmas tree farm. I love the pine Jesus scent was too, a Christmas man, tree, apparently. Because uh, um, nobody except for a devout Christian sell Christmas trees. Uh, I guess. Uh, but um, this guy's complaining about somebody doing what to pursue fame and wealth. This is the thirstiest MFR. I mean, the way that he went and just built himself a money making machine, which basically was just pulling it out of like, what was it? Uh, was it uh, who's that guy that died that he used to get all his money from? And then he oh, the guy who died of COVID. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, I mean, the uh, Charlie Kirk is uh, is a if I would say entrepreneur first and then everything else tied for last. And he's complaining that Taylor Swift is moved away from her origins on a tree farm to actually making money as a musician. That was Fascinating. A Bill, the, Bill Montgomery, the uh, who started the pro-Trump student group along with Charlie Kirk, died of coronavirus-related complications. I mean, Charlie Kirk uh, is a theoretically a grown man uh, going around and visiting colleges. Hmm. 
who and not and organizing his fellow students more or less yeah Go or ahead. trying is I, there I, any more to this uh, there might be i just I'll say, like here. i don't know how uh, i don't have the uh, antipathy towards Taylor Swift that emma has i don't know how bitter she is but i will say like these guys talking about other people being bitter oh my what? god oh, I, is... I honestly don't think i've ever heard a single thing that taylor swift has said <laughs> i'm sure i've heard her music at one point like mile must have been into it but um these guys are just talking about themselves. Fucking it, eternity, Taylor. It, oh, no, that was that, it. That was okay. it. No. Yeah, no, I just, uh, like, my, my critique of her is more she, like, epitomizes, like, white woman grievance a little bit, and I didn't love uh, some of the racial undertones of the Kanye oh. thing back in the day, or did how she, she did. Did Kanye? No, whatever. I, this is just, like... I don't know any of this. What I talk... Yeah, it's, it's just... You know, it's it's the personification of white feminism. It's boring, but that's uh, that's my that's my larger critique. I don't think they're engaging in that. 